Hi, Alicia, how are you? Alisa? Um, hi. Hi, how are you? Are you uh, fine? Good. Okay. Yeah. And how was your uh, homework? I've actually tried uh, doing this one. I have a question actually because they, I got kind of a weird error. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, May I, may I know, uh, are you talking about class 4 or class 5? Uh, class 4. Okay, yep. For class 5, I tried using type on like bb.net, but I can't seem to. I don't know why. Actually. Okay, but uh, so uh, the question, I mean, uh, homework for class number 5 was only for pseudocode. So you don't oh. need to, yep. <laughs> because, oh. because at that 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 time we only took uh, pseudocode so that is the reason and we didn't take classes yet in vb.net so and there is no we didn't take any types yet in uh, vb.net also so it was um, meant for pseudocode and if you can remember last class we talked only about pseudocode ah i see okay but, then so i will no try to I'll try to do that in pseudocode and get back to you by the next class. Sure. But I think my question is for like the code in cl during class four. Okay, you can share your screen if you want. Yeah. Uh, this. Uh, whenever I do... This is question one or question two? Um, If I remember correctly, it's the last question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this make a program first takes a user how many values to enter. Okay. Yep. I still yep. I uh... cannot see your screen yet, but okay. You just uh, l let me know. Can you explain until I see my your screen? Oh, uh, I just keep getting an error. Mm -hmm. where it says that my index is larger than my array. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. So your index is larger than your array. So uh, how, how much is your array size? Sorry, what? Your, your array size. So my... you... Okay, uh, the question says that you have to ask the user. Okay, now I see. Okay, so read line integer minus one, this is your index, okay. Uh, value, okay, can, can I know uh, what is the purpose of line 12? Line 12, um, to create the Array, array value. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then, ah, okay. So, okay, yeah, perfect. Uh, I, I actually, it is interesting. Uh, you did a good try here, uh, which is excellent. Um, so far here, from here to here is actually fine. Your, your, the problem is, um, when we start to uh, make a for loop. We have to start from index equal zero to a bigger uh, value. But what you are doing now is that um, you are signing, you are telling him run a for loop from zero to zero. Once he put zero inside the index, so the two, it means that uh, need to be actually bigger. So it need to be the array size. So what is the array size in your case? Ah, you put it index. Ah, so ah, okay. We, we never we never put. So, okay. Did we see a for loop before together? Uh, yes. If I remember correctly, yeah. So from i to ten. So this is. Uh, we start from zero, and uh, you can you can define i as an integer here somewhere. But this should be 
the the uh, the size of your array. Okay, it cannot yeah. be, uh, and you cannot start with. Now you you put your index. You cannot put this index that have your your size your array size as here like that. No, you cannot do it this way. So you have to assign a new integer, uh, and it's better to give. Um, it is is better to give a proper name for for the array size. This is array size. Oh, this is, yeah. So we have to call it size. So you you can call from index equal zero to size. Okay, it makes sense. And here need to be changed to size. Okay. Can you try to run? There might be still errors, but okay. Uh, if I want to declare multiple things, it's indexed. Yes, right? yes, it's possible. Yes. Uh, this is what you are getting? I don't know. Oh. Okay. But there seems to be like a weird thing at the front. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Unexpected. Uh, double is not valid. Three R three. Uh, did you print? Did you click the key the keyboard when you are? Did you click anything on the keyboard? Can I you run don't. Again? Can you run so... again, please? Okay, uh, put, uh, yeah, three, okay, enter value one, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that, that was my second question. Uh, mm -hmm. If I want to like take out the index in the array, what do I, how do I do that? Wait, wait sorry again, what do you mean by take out? Because you wanted the highest end of value and its position ah, in the array. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, yes, yeah. I understand. So how do uh, I okay. do that? Um, uh, there is many ways. Uh, one of them is to use uh, print. Okay. And uh, another one is to um, assign it to a variable. So it means that uh, typically, can you try to please uh, write here? Um, can you write a line here that you try to uh, print uh, the value of the index here? Can you write it here? Console dot write line and print the index value. Sorry, print the what? The index value, please. But uh, would mm -hmm. this index value even, well, well, no, it wouldn't be the least. Well, um, I, have, I have some comment about using a for loop this way and using the mass.max, but, uh, but okay, <laughs> you can. <laughs> okay, just try to run first because, okay, first, first of all, it, I mean, what you what you did is actually you don't need a for loop here because you How? are able you was able so you use a for loop if you you used a ready made uh, function to just find the max of an array um although um did we start in next dot max i don't think so did we what Yes, yes, we we study mass dot max. So yes, I I I remember. I give it to you. So okay, yeah. now I remember. Um, the thing here that um, this two is actually not needed. You don't need a for loop. This will do the job just in one shot. It means. Uh, 
you, you pass it something, you pass it an array, it will get, it will return to you one shot, the maximum number in the array. What you are doing now is that you are looping through the array and trying to find the maximum value three or four times. Uh, okay, just for you to understand so that the purpose is not me answering you uh, and, and just telling you what to remove and what to put. Can you please put a, a, a print line uh, instead of line 21, just press enter, give a space for one more line and yes, and right here, uh, copy that, copy that line, put it here. Okay, so I want you to say uh, here in uh, index inside the loop, inside loop. So we add here, you remove all, oh, never mind. Just keep, keep it as it is. Just say, uh, remove this part of me. Okay. Remove uh, the highest value, yes. Yeah, okay, yes. Can you try to run, please? So, okay. What do we see here? That's not the index value for the highest mm -hmm. enter value though, because my yes. highest va enter value was four. Yes, and that's also because of uh, one thing, if I uh, see correctly, it seems- that's like that... Initially I could get four, but I can't when I do this. Okay. Um. And let us first change this index to uh, to zero. This what? should be zero. This should be zero here. Maximum index size. Okay. Okay, run please. Yeah, that's not it, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would say uh, three at index. Okay, so I would say here, uh, you looped, so, so I, would, I would say that here, you should not use, if you want to get the index, you should not use this, not because it's not working, it is just because you cannot get an index uh, when you use that function. It will not give you the index. Uh, not, no, not... but I could get it just now. So the previous code, I, I could get it with the previous code. Okay, what was the previous code? Uh, uh, the, the the previous code was only that you didn't put that line. Uh, I don't think so. I think I changed something. Wait, can I just? Mm -hmm. Now 
Now, okay, I, I get it. I, I get it here. So what you what you did, what you did um, is that when you change it to size, you only compare it to the last um, to the last item in the array. So if you have value um, three, two, four, like that, and am I right? You have okay three values so and two, four, three. You have two, mm -hmm. four, three, right? And then you always compare it to the, when you put this one as a size, you always compare the first item here to the last item. You, you do that for three times. So it means, but when you change it to index, it will work. You know why? Because an index value is actually changing. Okay. Um, did, you didn't get me. No, no, I got it. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Now let me see here. The question now is that index here is, is not also correct here. Index here is not correct. You are, you are not able to get the correct uh, index uh, using uh, this. No, because I've already assigned zero. So like, you know, this is like the first one will compare zero to one. And then the second one will compare one to two. Uh, and then the third one will compare two to three. Yes, it's true. Uh, but yeah. what you, <clears throat> wait, wait a moment here. Y using this way, uh, you are not able to uh, capture which um, which number is the largest. <laughs> so um, you are you are not able to detect uh, when did you change the the largest and you put uh, the largest number inside. I think uh, I'm I'm not able to just uh, let me share let me share a code with you. The the correct way is to loop. Yes, you have done it here. Correct. But then you should not use, if you want to get an index, you should not use this one. Um, if you, So what you say is um, you need to use an if statement and then uh, you would say um, if maybe largest uh, is smaller than uh, value index. Like that, then and then you here put end if. And so if if largest is smaller, it means that we will assign largest to that value here. So largest will become equal uh, value index. But the most important is that we will uh, put uh, here a maximum index equal index. And then you want to print this, you have you will print it here. Did you get what I want to say, say? Because, so if you do this if statement inside here instead of that line, then you are able to only record the index that mark your highest number. I think you still not, still confused. I think I get it. Really? Actually, uh, yeah. This was so, what I was gonna try to do initially. The because... one thing I did, I wasn't sure was just like the. You put an end if, and then you have to define. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, make some index. Okay.
and change line number 26, please. Uh, uh, I think instead of this, I'll just... Print it there. Okay, fine. Still something is wrong at index one. No, Alisa, you cannot, uh, you still have to, wait, you still have to use from index zero, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, one is okay. One is okay because you already assigned the first one here. So I want you to put, let me see here. Um, I want you to put a print statement. So that's one of the ways that we are able to troubleshoot uh, what's actually going wrong. And not, okay, not only for index, but okay, never mind. Can you put uh, 20, 40, 30? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? 20, 40, 20, 40, 30. This is quite strange because even this line is, is only, ah, okay, it's already printed. Uh, Mm -hmm. It already print here. So if we have 20, 40, and 30, so this is index 0, index 1, index 2. So actually it's correct. But I want you to try again. Um, put the 40, uh, the last. So you make it 30, 20, and 40. just to, to confirm that you are really getting the correct index. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I kind of forgot about that. Uh -huh, mm. Okay. So, so does, does it make sense? Yeah. But what is the reason that you need to increment the index uh, uh, plus one? Okay. Because the in the index is different. Just put 30, 20, 40. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. So it's index three, but, but, but again, uh, 
index three if you're talking to people who are um who are not using uh, programming but uh, but what you did actually you can even still remove that one it should be correct so here it is it is true that this is index two and it's fine it's acceptable yes it, this is this is acceptable we count from zero so here is zero and the zero index here is the one and here is the two it's fine like that I just wanted to confirm that we are, when we move that number from here, that position to that position, our code is able to detect it. So it's, it, it's already able to detect it at two, at position two. Did, did uh, that make sense? Yeah. Okay, then we can, yes, you can remove that line. And, but again, um, what I want to say is that um, just print, uh, the print statement is always your friend. So if you always, uh, if you have a problem with the code, then you put a lot of print statement until you get things uh, working correctly. Okay, so okay. I think uh, if there is nothing else here, then we can try to continue. Yep. So Alisa, if you can remember last time, what did we take? Sorry, what? Do you remember what last time, what kind of pseudocode questions did we answer? Uh, you mean like the type and search or? Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, sorry. What What do you mean? So did you remember that we take about uh, the composite types and the classes? Yeah. Oh, are okay. we still doing theory or? Uh, you would like to, because we didn't uh, continue the honestly, last question. So if you want to honestly, have... I mm -hmm. uh, I think I rather just um go on with pseudo code first, and when I'm and I'm like, cause I'm currently doing past your papers on theory, and mm -hmm. when I have questions, I'll just ask you like in class or something. <laughs> okay, I'm but doing... uh, but okay, so if, if if you plan a change, because typically I arrange my my class slides uh, based on what we agreed. So please, if you have a change like that, don't wait until the class and tell me because it means that I spend time preparing for things that we will not use. So please don't do that again. It's, it's better to inform me ahead because I need to prepare class slides. I cannot really hear you. Uh, uh, sorry, wait, your voice is Okay, I still not sure why your uh, your voice is not very clear. Uh, Alisa, your your voice is actually uh, not so clear. It's going in and out. Can you try speak again or try? <laughs> Can you try to rejoin I again? Can. I cannot hear your voice, unfortunately. Can you go in oh, and out wait. again? Let me close. Let me close. Yeah. Mm. 